Let's begin with a cat stretch. Come on your knees, bring your knees together, thighs together. Double check your knees are right under your hips and your hands are under your shoulders. Press the palms down and forward so that you're really using your chest muscles to hold your body up. Now, keep your head up, inhale as you prepare. Start from the neutral spine and then exhale as you round your back. Inhale as you hold, then exhale as you release. Try again, inhale, and exhale. Make sure your arms are pressing all time so you don't glide your shoulders. Now we can do single breath. So you exhale to round. Inhale to arch. Keep your thighs together. Inhale and release. So do it for about six to eight times. From here, tug your toes and get back into downward dog. Keep your feet separate. Press the palms on the ground. Get your spine as neutral as possible. Brace your rib cage and try to lift your pelvis. Stay here. Use your chest muscles to push with your hands and the leg muscles. Breathe normally through your nose for about eight times. Send your breath to the sides and back of your ribs. After eight breath, inhale and step your left foot forward. Drop your knee, keep your toe tuck under, brace your rib cage and rest your hand on top of your knee. Actively push both the leg away from each other like you want to stretch the mat. Keep your head straight or close your eyes. Focus on breathing. Try to breathe deeply all through your nose. About eight to ten breath here. Allow your pelvis to sink a bit by bit. You should be feeling a good stretch in the front of your right thigh and some stretch on the left glute. After eight breath, bring your hand down. You can use some higher stuff like a block, yoga block, or you can place the hand on the chair you can do next to the couch. So I'll be keeping my hand down here. You bend your right knee and try to catch the ankle. Make sure you don't push your body back here. So stay here. Use this hand to open up your chest more and then try to pull the feet as close as possible to your hip. At the same time, sink your pelvis bit by bit. Don't go at a stretch. If you can rest the hand on the ground, that's fine. Depends on your flexibility. Open up your chest and look up to the ceiling or look back to your back foot. Both are fine. Make sure you're not sinking through the shoulder. Push away from the hand.
Take about each breath. You should be feeling a lot of stretch at this point in your quads. After about 8 to 10 breaths, slowly release your foot and step back into the dog stretch, downward facing dog. Keep your feet separate, your heels are turned in, toes are out. Take about 5 breaths here. Now inhale and step your right foot forward. Repeat everything on the other side. So bring your body forward here. Stay. Place your hands on top of your knee. Raise your rib cage and breathe. The idea is to keep your ribs in so that your spine can remain very neutral. The moment you arch everything up here, it's not going to work in the right place. We just want to keep everything neutral from the spine and let only this particular muscle stretch. Continue breathing in and out. Now carefully bring your hand down and bend the other leg, the back leg. Make sure you're not sinking through the shoulder. Lift away from the hand and pull your feet closer to your butts. Look back and breathe. Carefully return your foot and this time step forward so your feet remain separate to about the hip distance. You can always place a block between your thighs so that your legs really remain strong through your quads or pull up your kneecaps. Then cross your elbows to just let your body go down. Lean over your toes so your legs are as straight as possible and vertical to the ground. Feel the abdominal contraction after each exhalation that pulls you closer to your leg. At the end, try to get your chin as close as possible to your chest. Slowly bring your hands down and press your chin on the chest as you roll up.
Now stand with your feet separate, still holding a block between your thighs or a rolled towel. From here, take one hand up and then on exhale, bend over the other side. Stay here, keeping your head straight. Breathe for about eight times, five to eight times. And slowly come back up and change over the other side. Keep your top hand as straight as possible. Keep your ear close to the arm and continue bending over to the side. You'll feel a lot of stretch on this side here. And carefully return and release. Now have a seat. So for the next practice you might place two towels right on the floor if the floor is wooden or concrete so you don't hurt your knees. It, it hurts more when you are not when you are very tight in your hips. So from here we get the knees right on the floor just off the mat then go forward on your elbow and try to separate your knees Separate your knees as wide as possible to keep your knee hip in the same line as well. And stay on your elbow. Now you stay here and continue to breathe. It helps you to release your inner thighs. Spend about one to two minutes here, up to maximum to three minutes. If you feel there is no pain in your inner thighs and groins, you don't have to do this practice anymore. To progress from this practice, you might want to open your feet without moving your body forward or backward. So it just turns out your ankle come in line with your knee. It's called a frog pose. If your shoulder is getting a lot of strain here, it's a good practice actually to warm your shoulders. But if they get too much strain, you might want to drop your chest on the floor. Being said that, always make sure that your hip and knee remain in the same line. So both of the knee and hip in the same line. You can do it in front of the mirror so that you can always check on here. So just for a few seconds and from here slowly push your legs straight until you can get them almost towards each other. So onto the mat from here into the next posture. This posture is a little dynamic because it's going to help you strengthen your back. Place the hands right on your buttocks here. And drop your elbows on the ground. Keep your legs slightly apart. Make sure the heel never turn out, they turn in all time. Inhale as you lift your face and chest. And exhale. When you do this practice, make sure you don't squeeze the shoulder blades. The action is purely for your spinal muscles.
after five repetitions lift the leg as well always breathe into the tummy make sure neck is not extending too much control the movement of the neck it just goes along with your spine after five repetitions reach your arms forward inhale and move your right leg left hand so reciprocal movements exhale down lift higher use the hand that is on the floor to help you lift higher They should help you to strengthen all the rotator muscles, the deep muscles of your spine. About five repetitions on each side and then, last one, lift the legs and arms together. Last one and return. Come back up and lay down on your back for the final practice here. Inhale as you raise your legs up to the ceiling. Prepare yourself physically, mentally. We're going to take the leg overhead. Inhale as you roll and then try to bring the leg down towards the floor. You don't have to go too high on your neck. This will help you stretch your back muscles. It could be a very intense practice from time to time. So it's good to rest your feet on the couch, on the chair or a table. Stay for about 8 to 10 breaths. To release, inhale as lower as you lower your spine. And exhale to bend your legs at your knees. Simply pull your knees close to your chest. You can hug them more stronger from elbow to elbow. It's fine if your knees are separate. Pull the knee as close as possible to lift your buttocks off the ground. It's about five to six breaths and you're ready to go.